Good evening, and thank you, John. We all love watching curiosity grow and develop. Curiosity that inspires us to learn, to grow, to do things, and to improve our lives and those of others. I believe it is fitting that the award I have the privilege of presenting tonight was named after a man who, 30 years ago, as president of the SAE, and together with his colleagues, laid the groundwork for what today is the SAE Foundation. Sponsored by ABL, the Gordon Millar Award, now in its sixth year, is given in special recognition of an individual or organization that best demonstrates continuous philanthropic support of the SAE Foundation mission. Innovation has been one of John Deere's core values over its 180 year history. For its business to be successful, Deere serves its higher purpose of improving living standards for people across the world, including the growth of a global technical workforce with the necessary skills to create the innovations upon which our world will depend. A proud supporter since 1994 of SAE International's A World in Motion, John Deere has invested more than $1 million in this program over its history and has created a powerful model for supporting STEM education. The company especially complements its investments in effective STEM programs that not only make them stronger, but also creates a rich culture of mentoring and coaching that is essential for the growth of STEM. I feel like we have come full circle with this year's recognition, as Gordon Millar was a longtime VP of engineering of Deere. He was a real innovator, always pushing for new ideas, even in agricultural equipment. He once put a P26 engine in a tractor and demonstrated it at 90 miles per hour, <laughs> giving new meaning to the idea of fast food. So we are proud to present our friends and supporters at Deere with the 2016 Gordon Millar Award. Please welcome Pat Barnes, Program Director, Global STEM. Well, good evening. I'm deeply honored to accept this award on behalf of John Deere and our more than 57,000 employees around the world. I'd like to thank AVL for sponsoring the award and the uh, SAE Foundation for this recognition. John Deere is proud to share the commitment to help inspire the next generation of innovators with the SAE Foundation. What makes receiving this award tonight, which has already been talked about, is Gordon and his background at John Deere. And so it's really exciting to see him support SAE and then later go on to support the SAE Foundation. Like other organizations and individuals honored here tonight who, uh, whom I applaud, John Deere uh, recognizes the need for an increasing strong commitment to STEM youth education. In our case, it's through our INSPIRE program. Um, John Deere magnifies its STEM financial investments with what I consider to be the magic or the secret to our success, and that's volunteerism, which has been talked about earlier. Um, as an example, John Deere employees last year um, contributed, uh, recorded 120,000 hours around the world volunteering, and about 20% of that was for supporting STEM youth outreach, which included the SAE, A World in Motion. And then the other thing it included was in Iowa, um, where we have five major operating uh, communities we support, over 50,000 new students and over 700 programs since being ramped up in 2012 through the state of Iowa 
uh, STEM program, which all of that depends on volunteers and mentors that have been talked about. As I hope you all would agree from a business and a community perspective, a well-educated diverse work with strong STEM skills is increasingly important in our interconnected, technology-driven global economy. But just as important is the perspective uh, of our youth and their families. Um, STEM education and careers provides opportunities for all the students to help them make the world a better place. Um, through high-skilled in-demands, great paying jobs where they can provide for themselves and for their families. So in conclusion, I would like to again thank the SAE Foundation and congratulate them for being a STEM advocate and leader for nearly 30 years, long before STEM acronym became part of our everyday vocabulary it is today. So again, thank you for inspiring our youth and becoming tomorrow's innovators and leaders.